Hey, this is Mike. Checking out this 2015 uh, Jeep Wrangler. Now this one is the, 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 the color is awesome. I know it's the hydro blue color, but this is the Oscar Mike Freedom Edition Wrangler. And that's a pretty big package. It has a lot of stuff in it. A, lo a lot of it's cosmetic, but there's a lot of you know functional stuff as well. But uh, let's take a look at it here. Right off the bat, you notice has this huge star here on the hood and it's a decal and it kind of makes it look like it's uh, like an old star from an old World War One or World War Two or whatever uh, army jeep now you can see that the the wheels are a gray color and the grill here is gray as well as the center part of the bumper like that you also have the Oscar Mike badge here trail rated badge is there but this is probably one of my my favorite colors I like this in the polar edition in this color the blue uh, hydro blue is very awesome I was noticing uh, this is kind of neat with all the Jeeps lined up like this uh, you can kind of look through this window and it kind of makes it look like one of those mirror effects or there's two mirrors in one but anyway that's <laughs> that's not that important now this one's got the soft top and uh, this is one of the, the 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 visual the cosmetic features it has this black uh, fuel door with the stainless steel screws it has these bars that protect the rear lights the privacy glass is part of that package here's a closer look at the color of the wheel these uh, tires are part of the package the towing package is not part of the package but uh, let me go ahead and check back, check this out while we're back here. Now, since this is a soft top, this part doesn't, you know, move. Like, say, a hard top, you can just grab this and move it out of the way. So you're a little bit limited on the what you can do with the soft top back here. But you can access this part right here. And um, this is a little mat that's reversible. It has a rubber on one side and cloth on the other. And underneath this is a little storage container here. Little storage place. You uh, I always forget to mention this, but you have little places to put your screws. There's the uh, the roof screws go in there, and your door hinge screws go in there, and then you just got like little pockets here, and uh, your door hinges there. Now, uh, like left and right doors. That's that's the whole point behind that. Now when you close this down and you close the tailgate, the tailgate goes over this part and when you lock the tailgate it secures everything that you have in this container. So that's one way of securing your stuff when your soft top is off or you know you have the doors off and you're driving around and you, you know it gives you some, some way to secure some of your stuff here. Now, to me, just looking at it, this front grill, this gray, to me, with my eyes, I might be wrong, doesn't exactly match the gray on the wheels. It's, it's a little off to me. But, uh, I mean, it matches enough, you know, when you're looking at it from a little bit of a distance. Um, but it does not match uh, exactly. It doesn't look like anyway. Let's check out in here. We do have heated side mirrors. Another part of the package is the slush mats, which are very, very good, handy to have. They snap in place, they don't move, they, they fit like a glove, and they look good and protect your carpet. But the seats here, 
We're also part of the package. You've got the star there on the seat and the embroidery. Now this is a leather and a cloth seat. It has a cloth here in the center, leather on the outside here and here. And it's white stitched. Very quality looking for a um, you know for the package. I think it's a really good addition to have that that. The, the, the seats in it make a big difference on the interior. You also have your stitching here on the center console. There's your glove compartment. Glove compartment's lockable. The center compartment here is lockable as well. So that's other ways of securing your stuff. Now the doors are fairly plain, you know, because that's the way Wranglers are. They don't have a lot of bells and whistles here. You have a net pocket, door locks, handle, your power window controls are here in the center right there well let's take a look on the driver's side it's kind of windy out so hopefully my wind filter is doing its job Also, it says Jeep there on the side of the headrest. Got your dome light there. Speakers. Alright, so hopping in. I get the key. Now the key is your power door locks. There's no remote start on this vehicle. But, uh, let me go ahead and start it up. Here on the steering wheel, it's leather wrapped, which is part of the package. And it has the white stitching here that matches the other stitching. Here's your gauges. And right now it's showing the speedometer, but I can use um, I could use your but buttons here to change through that. It has a, a regular speedometer here, and then also a digital one there. This vehicle has two miles on it. All right, so the rest of the, on the steering wheel, you also have like a a silver color here, and on this side you have your cruise control. You just have to make sure you turn it on. Make sure it says cruise, and then you can set it. On the back of the steering wheel, you have a volume button. And on the back of the steering wheel on this side, you can change to the stations. And on the left side of the steering wheel, you've got a voice recognition button. You can push that button and uh, once you're, you know, there's lots of different commands, but one of the features is that you can call a certain person. You push the button once your Bluetooth phone is paired with the system. Uh, you can call people, you can turn to a certain station, all kinds of cool stuff. There's your phone button. <clears throat> and right here, like I was saying before, that it has the, uh, you can see there, it look, kind of looks like it's flickering. It's only because of the camera, not because it's really flickering in real life. But this, this um, speedometer here, I can push the menu button and kind of scroll through some different other information besides just the speedometer. And uh, also, like say if I'm in another, let's say I'm in that screen, I can always push this button here and go back to a, uh, go to a compass and a digital thermometer there. So, um, you know, pretty much anywhere, anytime you need your compass, you just push that and it goes straight to it. Here's the window sticker. Let's take a look at it. Hydro Blue Pearl Coat. And you see the Freedom Edition uh, uh, package starts here. It's a $5,700 ad. <clears throat> and you can see all the different things that's added. There's a lot of functional stuff mixed in with um, 
with all that, but it's pretty interesting. But you have a quick access pocket up here, auto dim rear view mirror that you can turn on and off there. Let's see if I can see it. What will focus in. There we go. All right, here's your radio. It does have satellite radio. It has a CD player, which also plays uh, MP3s. So you can put your MP3 disc in there and play, you know, hundreds of songs on a disc versus just a regular CD player. AM, FM, satellite radio. Your presets are down here. And um, right here is your auxiliary input. You can plug in just about anything into that and play music off of it. So a lot of a pretty good amount of connectivity options for the auxiliary input. There's your power windows. One touch going down. Got to hold it to go up. Down here is your climate control. Pretty basic. Your fan speed, temperature, and where you want the air, the air to blow. Your side mirrors are adjust. You can adjust them with this little joystick thing. Turn it to the left or right, and you can adjust the mirrors the way you want them. Right here is your tra traction control. You can turn it off if you want to. Downhill descent button. This is for off-road use only. If you're going down, <coughs> excuse me, if you're going down a hill or a grade or a steep grade, and it's, you're in four drive or whatever, and you're trying to get down, to, you know, that'll kind of help you push that button. I don't know. I have never tried it. So I don't know if you you know have any experience with that button or you know never been in a Jeep going down a hill on a dirt road or something and you push that button. Tell me what you experience because I don't know I don't have any real experience with that particular button on how to use it and what it does and all that. You've got a power supply there. There's an automatic transmission. There's your four-wheel drive shifter. Now the automatic ship transmission has the ability to change through the gears. You put it in drive and you can kind of bump it and you know adjust your gears in case you need to do that. Now if you're driving like this and you accidentally bump it, then you can just push it and hold it to the right and it'll go back and drive. And up here uh, on your display it'll tell you, you know, if it's changed gears. And you see there where it's changing and I push it, hold it to the right, it goes back to drive. There's your parking brake. Little pockets down there. Cup holders are here. There's your center console. Now it has two parts. There's two buttons here. One is a small one. I can lift that up for a small pocket. <clears throat> big button opens up and you got a big storage pocket down there with a USB charger and a uh, regular 12 volt charger. There's your back seats. And the privacy glass does a pretty good job. Uh, you can see out pretty good, but it has a pretty good job of keeping, you know, keeping people from looking in too much. Let's go ahead and see what's underneath the hood. I know there's an engine in there, because I can hear it running, but let's check it out. And there it is. Still can't really see it, because of the plastic cover, <clears throat> but it is a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. <clears throat> very popular engine. Now, I keep hearing that they're going to put a a uh, diesel engine, the 3.0 eco diesel in these Jeeps pretty soon. That's what I keep hearing, but I hadn't seen one or I hadn't confirmed that or anything. There's the underneath the hood. Now you notice there was no latch or anything. You can buy a 
a lock like a locking thing that goes here to lock the the hood but by default you know basically anybody can just walk up and open your hood so you want to keep that in mind another thing about the Jeep Wranglers is that when you get one they may or may not include the dealership probably not include it for free but uh, some locking lug nuts you definitely want to have one here on your spare at least because it's so easy for somebody to just walk up unscrew these and take your spare tire and uh, so that's something to consider so if you if you buy a Jeep Wrangler any kind of Jeep Wrangler <clears throat> unlimited or whatever uh, the first thing I would definitely look into like that day before you even park it anywhere is the the locking lug nuts but also the slush mats if you don't already get the slush mats including in, included in the package you want to go ahead and get some and put them in there as soon as you uh, pick up take delivery of the Wrangler because you know once you get a bunch of dirt in the carpet it's kind of hard to clean but uh, you know the slush mats really you know they do a really good job of keeping any kind of moisture and all that stuff from get seeping into your carpet all right there you have it if you have any questions let me know um, if there's anything I looked over if you have any real-world experience with any of the features that I've went over in this video um, share your experience in the comments in that way you know other people can benefit but anyway thanks for watching and if uh, if you don't mind you can like the video you can subscribe to my channel share the videos with your friend and I'll see you next time